a leftist influencer's attempt to critique Trump's agenda, 47 backfired, transforming into a compelling campaign ad. By enumerating Trump's promises if re-elected, including unprecedented deportation efforts, the death penalty for human traffickers, and dismantling the Department of Education, the influencer inadvertently underscored policies appealing to Trump's supporters. This unintended advertisement showcased Trump's bold and decisive agenda, potentially energizing his base even further. Don't miss, what are the key components of Trump's agenda? 47. How does Trump propose to handle gender-affirming care and education? What are the implications of creating freedom cities in the American Academy? And here are the first 15 promises he has made if he is re-elected. You may have heard of Project 2025, but this is from Agenda 47. And you can read all of these on his website. First, he promises that he will carry out the largest domestic deportation operation in history. He will also ask for the death sentence for anyone convicted of human trafficking. He will close the Department of Education and return all education standards to the states to decide. He will put prayer back into school. He will put prayer back into school. Bringing prayer back into schools signifies a heartfelt return to the core values and cherished traditions that many conservative families hold dear. It acknowledges the profound role of faith in offering moral guidance and fostering a strong sense of community within educational environments. And he will criminalize any race-based advantage programs. He will criminalize any race-based advantage programs. The essence of our promise lies in the principle of equality before the law. It ensures that every individual is judged by their character and abilities, not their race. This promise aspires to forge a society where competence and fairness reign supreme, casting aside the shadows of divisive identity politics. He will end the Affordable Care Act. He will ban gender-affirming care for adults and children, and he will ban any federal dollars from going towards gender-affirming care, which means anyone with government-provided health care will no longer be able to access gender-affirming care except for Viagra and Cialis. Those will still be available. He will propose a constitutional amendment that gives a term limit to Congress. He will deploy the Department of Justice to investigate the Biden crime family and any of his adversaries or political rivals. He will immediately pardon all of the January 6thers, and he will create a task force to investigate anyone who arrested, charged, or imprisoned a January 6er. He will increase the penalties for underage criminal offenders, strengthen immunity for police officers, and deploy the National Guard to patrol woke cities. On day one, he will reassess our participation in NATO and says that every European country needs to pay the United States for protection. He will also restore the wonderful travel ban for Muslims coming to America. He will build freedom cities. This is 10 new cities built on federal land. He will award them to areas with the best development proposals, and he will prioritize moving young families to these freedom cities. He will prioritize moving young families to these freedom cities. The essence of family lies in stability and growth, especially when we put young families first. This initiative opens doors to new possibilities, allowing families to flourish. It embodies a vision of hope and success, cultivating an environment where dreams take root and grow. He will kill all e-vehicles and e-vehicle legislation, seeking to replace that with the development of a flying car. He believes that we could create a car that vertically takes off. He will remove all of the limits on American natural gas exports and drill baby drill for oil domestically. He will impose a tariff of up to 60% on Chinese imports. He will impose a tariff of up to 60 on Chinese imports. Imposing tariffs on Chinese imports is more than just a policy decision. It's a bold move to safeguard American jobs and industries. It's a passionate declaration to stand up for our workers, ignite the fire of domestic production, and break free from the chains of foreign dependency. He will extend the 2017 tax cuts and drop the corporate tax rate from 21% to 15%. He will extend the 2017 tax cuts and drop the corporate tax rate from 21 to 15. Tax cuts ignite a powerful surge of economic vitality, sparking the flames of entrepreneurship and sharpening the competitive edge. This bold move offers a lifeline of financial support to businesses and individuals alike, fueling dreams and ambitions. It's a catalyst for investment and a beacon for job creation, paving the way for a brighter, more prosperous future. He will push Congress to pass legislation that would give every American the right to concealed carry anywhere at any time, he will push Congress to pass legislation that would give every American the right to concealed carry anywhere at any time. 
ensuring the right to carry a concealed weapon is a profound affirmation of individual liberty and a steadfast dedication to self-protection. It embodies a deep-rooted belief in the Second Amendment as a pillar of personal freedom and security. And he will revoke any gun restrictions or legislation that seeks to inhibit people's ability to own guns that's been passed in the last several years. He will demand that Europe pay back all the money we gave Ukraine, and then he will use all of that money to recruit for the American military. And he will take billions and billions of dollars from private university endowments by taxing, fining, and suing the universities. He specifically names Harvard in this one. And then he will use that money to create the American Academy. It is a free online college that will be free of wokeness that he will force employers to recognize as a bachelor's degree equivalent. He will create the American Academy. It is a free online college that will be free of wokeness that he will force employers to recognize as a bachelor's degree equivalent. The birth of the American Academy heralds a groundbreaking shift in the world of education, offering a fresh, accessible, and pragmatic alternative to traditional institutions. This academy isn't just another school, it's a beacon of hope, a place where students can grow without the shackles of ideological constraints. Here, they're not just learning, they're arming themselves with invaluable real-world skills that will open doors to limitless possibilities. So, that's Agenda 47. A leftist influencer's attempt to critique Donald Trump's Agenda 47 has unexpectedly morphed into a striking campaign ad boldly spotlighting the provocative and audacious promises Trump has made if re-elected. This influencer unveils Trump's sweeping pledges, starting with the most massive domestic deportation operation ever and pushing for the death penalty for human traffickers. Trump's plans don't stop there. He aims to dismantle the Department of Education, returning control to the states, bring back prayer in schools, and criminalize programs based on race. Further, Trump is set on abolishing the Affordable Care Act, banning federal funding for gender-affirming care while paradoxically ensuring coverage for medications like Viagra and Cialis. His ambitions extend to proposing a constitutional amendment for congressional term limits, launching investigations into the Biden family and political rivals, and pardoning those involved in the January 6th incident, with a task force dedicated to scrutinizing their prosecutors. Trump's vision includes harsher penalties for juvenile offenders, increased police immunity, and deploying the National Guard to manage woke cities. He plans to reevaluate NATO participation, demand compensation from European countries, and reinstate the travel ban for Muslims. In a surprising twist, Trump envisions the creation of 10 new freedom cities on federal land, with a focus on young families and their development. He vows to halt electric vehicle legislation, pursue the development of flying cars, expand natural gas exports, and resume domestic oil drilling. His economic strategy features hefty tariffs on Chinese imports, extending the 2017 tax cuts, and slashing the corporate tax rate. Trump also aims to pass nationwide concealed carry legislation, roll back recent gun restrictions, and require European nations to repay U.S aid given to Ukraine, redirecting those funds to strengthen the American military. Targeting private university endowments, specifically Harvard's, he plans to finance the American Academy, a free, woke-free online college he vows will be recognized as equal to a bachelor's degree. This unintentional ad has drawn significant attention to Trump's detailed and ambitious agenda, offering a clear vision of his plans if re-elected and resonating powerfully with his supporters. Highlighting the unintended consequences of AEU, woke influencer inadvertently promoting Donald Trump's agenda can have a profound impact. Even if the influencer's intentions are negative, the act of listing these pledges can unintentionally showcase policies that resonate with many people. The importance of clear political communication is paramount, as critical voices can amplify messages to a broader audience, focusing on authenticity, personal responsibility, and meaningful action. When a woke influencer publishes a list, it can serve as a vivid example of how intentions and perceptions can shift, leading to unexpected outcomes. Acknowledging political reality and stressing sincere and careful policy participation is crucial. Psychologically analyzing these messages' effects on public sentiment can uncover how such lists can energize Trump's supporters, emphasizing decisive actions and strong leadership commitments. This analysis can also reveal varying public responses. Some may feel bolstered in their support, 
while others may feel anxious or opposed. Attention should be given to how Donald Trump's Agenda 47 impacts leadership and vision. Its specific and ambitious nature stands in stark contrast to the more cautious approaches of other political leaders, highlighting Trump as a figure of decisive leadership, appealing to those who value strong actions and clear governance. Moreover, the public's reaction to the influencers' list can significantly affect political discourse. Describing Trump's agenda as terrifying can paradoxically strengthen support among those who see such policies as necessary and bold. Criticizing fear-based political messages, we suggest that such messages might backfire by rallying audiences eager to raise awareness. What do you think?